Greetings, Internet. My name is Binku49, and this is Desolation. It is my pleasure to bring you this video today. It's a long time coming. My friends and I have been working on this map in secret for almost a year now. Haven't really told too many people, but now we're telling the world. We're, we're not finished. We're still a work in progress, but it's time to share it. So without further ado, welcome to Desolation. What is Desolation? I like to describe it as a mixture of DayZ, Hunger Games, and traditional adventure maps. This is the way it's going to work. Players are going to spawn in this spawn trap in the air above the city of Coventon. And they're going to find out that Armageddon has come to the city. Uh, Armageddon in this case were portals that mysteriously opened up all around the city, spilling out monsters into the streets. Now these monsters attacked humanity and there was chaos, there was violence, there was looting, there was murders. The city spiraled into just pure mayhem. It's now 30 days since those monsters came out of the portals and everyone in the city is dead. Except for you and whoever else is playing the game. Sounds like fun, right? So... Um, your player's going to choose from six starting mansions. I'm not going to go into the mansion details right now. I'm just going to drop into one. And uh, they're going to have to leave the mansion and enter the city. Now the rules are we're going to be playing on survival hard. And there's no building, there's no mining, and there's no crafting. So everything that a player acquires will be through looting the thousands of chests that we've hidden throughout the world. Yeah, you can see this is uh, one of the residential streets. A lot of chaos, a lot of mayhem. Now, the objective of the game is the first person to find five key cards and take them to the airport will win the game. So you have to leave the city in order to win. Now, there can only be one winner, but it is an open world game and you're free to play the game however you like. So if you're, say, low on supplies and you encounter another person, you can choose to hide or you can try to you know tail them and try to wait for an opportunity to attack uh, conversely if you have a bunch of good stuff you might want to you know attack the weaker players you see and you know try to become stronger yourself or you can also work with other players you know maybe form an alliance and try to work together to battle your way through the city but uh, there can only be one winner so you have to do some sort of hunger games type thing at the end if you uh hunger games the movie that is so, you know what, I'm just going to walk around the city and give you an idea of what it's like on the streets of Covington. Pretty dead. You know, these cars are all um, derelict. They've been left to rot. Actually, let me um, fly so I give you a better overview of the city. Um, and I'll show you the map as well. This is what we have so far. I'd say we're about 60% done. Uh, our goal is to cover the entire city in city. <laughs> the entire map in city, sorry. Uh, there's going to be no oceans, no huge parks, no open spaces, all urban, the entire map. Obviously, we started on the 360, and we've been building away, building away. Uh, it's on the 1 now, and we're going to finish on the 1, and our goal is to have it up for uh, download once it's finished. So, we're going to start with the 6 middle class, or sorry, it's the 6 mansions. Those are the starting mansions. Surrounding those are 54 middle class homes. Um, to the north over there is the ghetto, to the south is downtown, to the west is, uh, that's West High, and over there is going to be some more uh, downtown area. To the east is a strip mall and the freeway, and on that side of the freeway there's going to be some nightlife and a mall. To the north there's going to be industrial section, north of the ghetto, and over there in the corner is going to be the airport. So yeah, let me just uh, fly around here, give you an overview. I'm going to talk more about the map in the future videos in the series, as well as myself, and give you a background of how I got into Minecraft and how this map came to be in existence. But for right now, I'm just going to give you an overview. As you can see, I do take pride in my work. I'm a good builder, I would say. You know, I build some pretty cool things. But I'd say my strength is interiors. Uh, not only my strength, but my passion for Minecraft lies in interiors. I, 
I really um, enjoy walking into a room and just getting a feeling, you know, having that room strike me. So I've really focused my energy on interiors on this build, and I've tried to instill that in all the people who have helped me. I want you to be immersed in this map as much as possible, and in order to do that, you have to feel like you are in a war-torn, scavenged world. Um, so this world is going to be messed up. You know, some some uh, buildings are more looted than others, and I try to give visual cues as to that. If you go into a, a house, say, and there's clothes everywhere and furniture's knocked over, that place has probably been scavenged, and you're not going to find too many things in there. But if you can manage to find a place that looks pristine, like the day it was, like the day before the Armageddon came, you might find a lot of things in there. So you know, I like to give little details that tell an overall story of that building. As you can see, details is also a very important thing for me and uh, the rest of my builders. We are going for a high level of modern, realistic detail. You know, I, wa I really want you to be immersed in this world and have fun and really forget you're playing Minecraft and forget you're playing a video game. Uh, sun's going down. I, that's, that's really the goal. The goal has been to make you forget that you are in a digital world. I want you to be afraid. Because you're not only are you going to have to worry about hunger and starving to death, you're going to have to worry about the monsters and being equipped to deal with them. And But you're also going to have to watch your back because players are going to be trying to kill you too. So this game is very stressful. You're going to want to you know, be uh, in the right state of mind to play it. So I'm starting to wind down on this video. I'm just flying around, give you an overview. This series is going to take you along for the ride. I want to bring you along with us on this build. Like I said, we've been working since January and we have a lot more to go. Um, you missed a lot, as you can see. But uh, there's still a lot more to do and I want you to be here to see it. If you subscribe and watch these videos, you're going to learn how to build cars, you're going to learn how to build houses, you're going to learn how to build buildings and skyscrapers, uh, you're going to learn how to do interiors. I have a lot to say about interiors and a lot to teach and a lot to show you. Um, you're going to you know, watch as we build, we're going to bring you in on some PvP games that we've been playing in the city and you know, let you see how that goes. So this is going to be a really fun series and I, I hope you're going to enjoy it. So please subscribe for more and stay tuned for more Desolation because it's coming. Thanks for watching guys.